Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I know that many of you clicked on this video because you saw the debut of this machine right here with the portals, the Team MSC portal kit. And it's been more than two weeks, right? And we haven't talked about it. So let's have a little bit of a story time. So all of us guys at Team MSC, we are avid riders. We love to get out there, recreational ride, we use our units for different purposes around our properties. And that's just what we do all the time. And with us being from the South, we love mud riding. And uh, we've been wanting portals just as bad as all of you have been wanting portals for your CF Moto machine. We've been pushing to get those and we have been communicating with Super ATV. Uh, Team MSC Parts is a uh, Super ATV dealer along with Main Street Cycle. We have a awesome relationship with those guys. We get to hang out with them as they come by our shop quite often. We've been talking about portals with them for a, for shoot, the last couple of years. And they have been working on developing the factory bolt-ups portals for the CF Moto U-Force 1000 for a while. That's been a project that has been on their mind and they've just been kind of watching the market to see, you know, hey, they're a company that has got to make smart investments, right? They, they can't just make portals for a machine that they're not sure there's enough people out there like we know there is, right? All of you that are clicking and watching this, you want portals for your U-Force or your Z-Force or C-Force. So uh, there is a lot of us out there and we're trying to make sure that Super ATV knows that. And they do because they have been working on it and they are so close to releasing them. We work together on this project, along with Monster Z, they helped us too in this and helping us do all the R&D and design to build the plates for these. But these, obviously, these are Super ATV portals that are not made for the U4. So axle splines are different. Uh, we had to de develop our own back plate for these portals. Uh, just so much had to go in this. Man, it, and we didn't want to release to you a product that's going to be around the five thousand dollar mark for you to be able to get these portal kits and that's just too much so with all that goes into this portal kit i mean you're looking at a lot of add-ons that we have to do to even make this work because we're adapting we're making custom back plates to build a bolt up to our moorhead off-road engineered a arms they're also designed to work with the oem arms your factory arms if you will but you still have to get upgraded axles you're going to have to get, you know, change your brake lines, brakes. Uh, there's just several things that you're going to have to do. With that being said, we know that, man, that's just too much for our customers to have to come up with just to be able to run portals. And I know there's a few of you out there that you're willing to do it because you want portals on your U-Force bad. But hang on for just a second. Like I said, 5000 that's just too much for that kit. With Super ATV, we have such a good relationship with them. They were giving us a window to be able to release these and we greatly appreciate that, but uh, we're gonna lose money on this investment because we put a lot of money into this. But after we communicate with Super ATV, uh, we had a couple of meetings and that's why this has lasted so long, right? We, wasn't, we didn't just come out and release our kits. As you can see, they're ready, right? We've been testing them. They're ready to go, Monster Z. And uh, those guys, they are, they've been working on that as well and they put in some testing and they're ready to go. But we, after communicating with Super ATV, we know that it's gonna be so much better for y'all to be able to get the Super ATV portals that are made and designed specifically for the CF Moto U-Force 1000. And they're close, guys. So, we are a Super ATV dealer and we're gonna be able to offer you the exact bolt-on, way less, right? Super ATV portals depend on what you get, you know, four inch, six inch, what kind of housing you get, single idler, du dual idler. Uh, it's gonna change the price, right? But you're not gonna be anywhere close to $5,000, okay? With a cast, casing, single idler, you're gonna be somewhere around the $3,000 mark, give or take a few. Uh, but uh, like I said, price changes. Uh, varies between the different options that you have. But look, the great thing, you're gonna be able to bolt them right up to our Moorhead off-road arms, as well as bolting them right up to the OEM factory arms. It's gonna save all of us tons of money. It's gonna work great. You're gonna be able to use your OEM axles, brake lines, all that stuff's gonna work and save you tons of money. That way you can run a setup like this 
and it's going to be great. With that being said, I wanted to clear the air and let you know we ain't been holding out on you. We've been communicating with Super ATV. We think that this is going to be best for us, for you primarily. We are having to eat a lot of money, but I think it's going to pay off in the end. It's going to be better for all of us to wait on the Super ATV portals that are coming very, very soon. So just hang in there just a little bit longer and we're gonna have the best option for you. It's gonna be dependable, just like all the Super ATV products are. And again, you're gonna be able to get those from teammscparts.com. And I will be the very first to be able to release to you that information that the portals are ready and that you can order them from teammscparts.com. You're not gonna to have to worry about having to figure out what brake lines to go with. You're not gonna to have to worry about changing axles. None of that stuff's going to bother you. We're actually getting ready. This is We're set up at a uh, local show uh, this weekend, and then we're going to be taking the beast to some of our mud parts. And we're going to be sending it deep and let you see some of that action. So I can't wait to get to show you that, and uh, I think you're going to enjoy it. And then also, like I said, when the actual Super ATV portals are ready and they're on the production line and they're getting shipped out, we will be getting them on our units and getting them out to the parts and showing you all about them, testing them, putting them on different tire setups. I think you're gonna love it, guys. And again, just wanted to clear the air, get this video out there for y'all and uh, let you know what's going on. Save that money up. Ain't no sense in us trying to get this kit out there to cause you to have to spend a lot more money. I think there's a couple other places maybe trying to work on uh, portal plates to make adapters. So it's just a lot more added cost. We've waited this long. We're really, really close to launching the actual portals made just for the U-Force 1000 from Super ATV. So let's hang in there a little bit longer. It's gonna be the best uh, for all of us and I uh, can't wait to be able to show it to you. God bless y'all. As always, remember to keep it real. We'll see you in the next one.